All right, so uh, here's the package of the Crazy Pony. Batteries came in. It's well packaged. Lots of big bubble wrap. Bubble wrap on the bottom. Packaging here. I've actually never seen packaging for batteries like this. I actually really like this. There's a lot of times they're individually wrapped in bubble wrap, and I've had issues where I've actually pulled the end cap off trying to get it out of the bubble wrap because I'm afraid to cut through it. So I'm actually kind of excited for this. We'll uh, open them up and take a look at it and do a couple tests, and I'll continue on with the review. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys, we're going to take a look at the weight on these batteries. The first one, four grams. Four grams on the second. 4.1 on the third. Four point three on this one. We'll take a look at the new voltage that they shipped with. Three point nine six. Three point nine seven. I always hate when I get a battery and it's essentially dead on arrival <clears throat> or has a full charge. It's always frightening. 395. 396. Alright, so this is kind of the, the basics. It's upside down. Uh, 3.7 volt, 35C, 150 milliamp. The connector is a good quality. It's nice and firm in there. It doesn't wiggle around a lot. I've already tried to fit these in the inductrix, and they slide right in. Um, I have a rake on frame. It's a little tight batteries, I think, and these fit perfect. Might be a little bit loose. On a stock frame, I don't have a frame anymore to test. It's easy with all this sellotape to solve that. Uh, next up, what I'll do is charge these. And then once charged, I'll give them a run in the inductrix. See how long I last. I don't expect them to last a long time at 150 milliamp, 35C. But, you know, if I get three, two and a half, three minutes of good power flight, I'm happy with that. I'm also going to try it in a couple other micros I have. I'm going to try it in a Radian, see what the battery does in that, as well as a couple standalone cameras that I have that run on this. That's it for now. Stay tuned for the rest of the video.
All right, here's the uh, final results. Hopefully, my editing as well. You've only just seen one full flight. Uh, this battery was just taken out of the quad. Down to 380. So the uh, flight time from the moment that I plug this battery in to the moment it dropped out of the sky because of the low voltage cutoff was about 2 minutes and 38 seconds. So 2.30 to 2.40. It's reasonable. It's a good price. They're small batteries. Do I wish it had more power and would run longer? Of course I do. I'm going to do the 180s here later this week. And uh, we'll see how much more we get out of it. However, there was plenty of power on this, plenty of pep. Uh, as you can see, I'm running. I cut the props down from 4 to 2 because I it's just a little faster, a little more responsive that way. So again, overall, my review on this is, yeah, for the price they are, it's worth it. Um, obviously, if you want to fly for longer than two and a half minutes, don't get them. I will tell you this, I did try these in a UMX Radian, and I don't ride thermals, but I do get up there and glide in the wind and come back down. I got about 11 minutes on one of these batteries. I also ran one of these batteries on that same Radian with another camera like this, and of course the additional weight with the same battery. I only got about 8 minutes, however the camera transmitted the whole 8 minutes separate battery, two batteries, um, and when I brought it down, the voltage was about 3.9, 3.89, so I would imagine these batteries would run this camera on its own, probably about nine minutes. I wouldn't push it much more past the eight minute mark. This 15035C ran the Radian, except for about 11, a little over 11 minutes. I was full throttle when I was on the throttle, but there was a lot of gliding involved as well. Thumbs up.